everyone and welcome to Home Gardening 4.0. Today we have a project that we want to do here with our sweet potato and I'm going to turn the time over to Sonia so that she can let us know what is the plan for this bed. Okay, so here we have our Beauregard sweet potatoes. We planted these mid-April when I received them. Sorry. We planted these mid-April when I received them mail order from Gurney's as uh, sweet potato slips. It is now mid-August, so they have been in the ground for 120 days. We, I think I ordered 10 or 12 and I got some extra, so I want to say I had 15. Um, planted them every foot along this bed. And I think the only one, I think I maybe had two that died, one on the very end and one in the middle here. I can't remember for sure if the one in the middle died or not, but I know the one on the very end died. So as you can see, the sweet potatoes have spilled over the bed and also shaded quite a bit of the, the soil area for the row of basil that I had planted along here. But this is, this is how they've grown. We have not trimmed them or done anything to them, but give them water and fertilizer. So today we're gonna pull one of the plants out and see what we got. So as you can see, we have from one plant, we have maybe, well, maybe a pound of sweet potatoes here. We've got a couple of edible sizes, little mini ones. And then I've got a couple that have not really done anything. So I think this is a sign that we need to let them just have a little bit more time. We'll maybe give them a little bit more fertilizer and uh, give them another couple weeks and then consider pulling them all out or taking a couple plants here and there and eating them and then going along that way. These definitely, these smaller ones definitely could have gotten bigger if we left it longer. But I think the good news is that um, it worked. This is my first time, this is our first time growing sweet potatoes. And I'm glad to see that we can eat something out of the garden. Okay, so uh, judging by that, uh, and also looking at the bed itself, they have been able to withstand the heat of our Arizona weather and have not seen that much damage to the bed as the other beds. So the sweet potatoes are doing good. Uh, in our weather here. So. so next year we're gonna do more sweet potatoes. We'll probably do another variety as well. Um, and uh, we know they do well in the summer. So definitely gonna do it again. Okay, well, thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully we will get our sweet potatoes bigger as we let them be in this bed for a week or so, maybe more, but we will keep you guys posted and see you guys on our next video.